It's a showdown over votes. The Broward County Supervisor of Elections has just one hour left to hand over critical election updates to Governor Rick Scott's campaign. This court finds, once again, Broward County is under the microscope and being viewed by the entire nation. And new at 6, one local Democrat is calling for the governor to resign, saying the requests he's making are an abuse of his power. The ruling in favor of Governor Scott's campaign comes less than 24 hours after Scott filed a lawsuit demanding to know how many votes were left to count there in Broward County. Good evening, I'm Greg Warmoth. And I'm Martha Sagowski. We're also just 18 hours from the first statewide deadline that will determine whether there will be a recount in any of those close races. Votes have continued to trickle in throughout the day in the race for U.S. Senate. We just checked in the last 10 minutes, and right now Governor Rick Scott is leading Senator Bill Nelson by fewer than 15,000 votes. If these numbers stand, there will be a recount by hand. We have live team coverage of the potential recount. Channel 9 Shannon Butler finally heard from Senator Bill Nelson for the first time since before the election. Christopher Heath is looking into the strategies of both candidates, which have been very different. And since Tuesday, Field Sutton has been down in Broward County, where late this afternoon a judge ruled the supervisor of elections had to hand over ballot counts to Rick Scott's campaign in Field. The office has a little less than an hour to do so. And I just talked with the lawyer representing that office. It sounds like he is stopping short of a full commitment to release what has been ordered. You can be the judge of that for yourself in just a minute. Regardless, though, the judge is clear not releasing is going to be a violation of the law. The Public Records Act is to be construed liberally in favor of openness. The ruling today is you have a right to know how your votes are being counted. These are Naomi Teller requests that she should have already had and produced to the Department of State that should be one click away on her computer. This is not a burdensome request. Rick Scott's asking for basic data on what's been done and what's left to be done to get this election closed out. It's information that's legally supposed to be sent in already to Tallahassee. This is all about timing. Let the record be clear. Dr. Snipes has never told them that she would not provide the information. After the judge sided with Rick Scott, Brenda Snipes' lawyer said this about meeting tonight's deadline for releasing the records. Any public records that's available will be made available per the court's order by 7 o'clock. Those that are not won't mean that that's the end of the line, but we'll continue to make sure that every single vote that was cast here in um, Broward County is going to be counted and considered as our Constitution provides. <laughs> As the clock ticks, protesters are outside the elections building calling for her to be booted from office, and it's getting nasty. Hey, I'll talk to you. Since she said that I'm not educated. Snipes supporters say Scott's lawsuit is interfering with getting those votes counted. Even if it's illegal. Even if it's illegal. We need to count the Republican votes and the Democrat votes that are missing. It's illegal. I think everybody's legal, and we need to count them all. Well, Snipes' lawyer did not give us any update on what it's going to take to get this done, how much is left to get done. However, an ag commissioner candidate, Matt Caldwell, says he's been told by that office there are 2,100 mail-in ballots that have never been counted so far. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Field Sutton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.